Okay, so here is our new arrival. This is Winter. We got her from a place that looks like a fairly nice farm. But it seems like they didn't take super great care of their animals. So at the moment, we're just giving her a bath and getting her all cleaned up. She had a lot of stuff stuck to her and a lot of dirty matted fur, so we are taking care of that now. We brushed her, we cut some of her hair, and now we're soaping her down. And we're get, we'll get her dried off really good before she goes in with any of the other goats. And, uh, and treat her, yeah, treat her fur. Just in case she's got any bugs or anything, bring it along with her. We want to protect all of our goats. So we're going to do a nice slow introduction here. Okay, so here's Winter. We got her all cleaned up. She is treated for our bugs. She's ready to go. We uh, had to do a lot of work. She had a lot of poop stuck onto her rear end here, just all over. We had to cut it up and wash it really good so that it would all come out. And I think we did a pretty good job of getting her clean. She's a little nervous about me touching her still. So yeah, she's looking good. We also trimmed her hooves, but uh, it seemed really soft. I don't think that that is normal to be that soft, so we're thinking that she has maybe some kind of vitamin deficiency which is not really any problem because we have vitamins we already, We've already her, yeah we already gave her some and we'll give her more in the morning as well so that way she can be nice and healthy and she'll be a really good goat for us here's goose she's also standing on top of their shelter <laughs> hey she's interacting with hayden that's good they like hayden they interact with Hayden every day. Winter. She doesn't know her name yet. <laughs> Goose doesn't even know. <laughs> Where did Elvis go? We have Elvis out roaming right now because under the deck. He's so cute and he likes to come out. So he's down there. He doesn't care about the feed, only the grass. <laughs> he loves grass so much. There he is eating grass down there. That's all he cares about. All right. We also just fed the pigs some dinner, so they're happy about we gave that. Yeah, they already that's, had that's, that's dinner. All right. All right, I'm gonna stand in the shade right now because it's really bright outside. But it is the same day still, and I just wanted to update a little bit about the garden. You guys saw probably in the earlier part of this video us building that raised garden bed and getting a couple things planted. Well, things have started to grow. It's been five days since then. So, let's go take a look. Okay, and here we are. So here were the seedlings that we planted. Just little tiny seeds, and they clearly have already started growing. So let's see what we've got here. And this first one, this is cucumbers. There we go, focused. We've got two cups of peas. We've got kale right there, and two cups of pepper. And as you can see, it's just kind of starting to grow. Those are like uh, bell peppers. I think they were called Fiesta Blend, so they're a bunch of different colors. So I'm really excited for those to grow. Over here is the sweet banana pepper. It isn't doing so well, but it's growing. So, you know, it's got some new sprouts coming off the side there. So I'm hoping for it. And the basil, right here, got trampled a couple of times by dogs and animals. But it is still growing okay, just a little bit sideways. So I think that it's going well. And then, of course, over here, we planted some more stuff. Uh, like I said, we ran out of stuff to make more garden beds, uh, more wood. We do have some in the back that I might go ahead and use. But for now, we just planted it in the ground with a bit of extra dirt. And we need to get some more dirt to, you know, help them grow. But here is the heirloom squash. We bought this uh, almost at this, full, at this size already. It's grown a bit since then, so it's doing really good. Here is the eggplant. Just one eggplant. 
and it's doing okay. It grew a new flower, so I'm hoping that that is a good sign. Over here we have pumpkins, and I'm surprised at how fast those are starting to grow. Look at those. They are looking great. Another one just popped up too. Oh my gosh, this wasn't here this morning. Look at that. They grow so quick. Over here is watermelons right next to it. Up here is onions. Nothing, nothing popping up there yet. Maybe. Maybe. We got some little tiny green sprouts. I don't even know if you can see it. Is that it right there? No, that's a stick. There it is. You can't even see it on the video. And of course right next to it is here is uh, carrots. Again, nothing growing there yet. A couple little green sprouts. So it might be growing. But that is what we have planted over here so far. It's doing okay. And I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. For only being less than a week, things are growing really strong. So I'm excited. Okay, right as I tried filming over there, the neighbors decided to come over on their four-wheeler and make a whole bunch of noise. So I came over to the other side of the house for now. And I'll go check on other things in a minute. That way I can record better. Um, but I don't know if we've done a, like, a bird update or introduction or anything. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys our chickens and our ducks. You saw them in the last video um, a little bit, but I'm going to actually give you a good look at them here. Alright, so, entering the chicken coop. I built this coop by hand, very cheaply, for less than $100 actually, so pretty good price on it. Sorry about that clicking sound, hang on. Can't, I just can't see very well on the screen. Alright, so here's our birds. The ducks do not shut up. A little bit. Alright, so, but those are the heathers. That is what we have named them. Collectively, the heathers. The white ducks, at least. The black one is Veronica. We have Shelby. This silky mix chicken right here. She kind of likes me. We have Cayenne, who, uh, you know, appears to be a rooster. We have two, oh gosh, what were they called? This is Mustard, mustard and Paprika, and they are Starlight Green Eggers, so I think that means they, they lay green eggs. I wouldn't know, they haven't laid any eggs yet. Here's the coop that we built. It is looking a mess currently because it is time for another muck out already. Even though I feel like we just did one. But we'll get to that soon here, within the next couple days. Alright, then we have Pepper. Shh, Heather. Pepper is the black chicken, and she is huge. Some suspecting that she is also a rooster, just because she's the same size as Cayenne at this point. But, I mean, she doesn't look like a rooster. And then finally we have our three chicks. We have three younger chickens right here. One of them is Silky, that's Doodle. We have an Americana named Frenchie. And finally that is a... Uh, what was... Well, this one's name is Wafer. And she is a... Buff Orphington. So we have a, a little bit of a mix of chickens here. I think that's as many as, that, as we are having, just so that way... We don't need to expand our space. It fits really well back here behind the house. They have a good place to nest, lots of places to roost. I think this is a good size for them, so we're not trying to overcrowd anybody. And she is still over there. Why is she on top of the house still? I'm starting to think that she actually can't get down. I'm going to have to go over there and uh, see if I can get her down from there. Winter, are you stuck? Let's, let's get in there. Let's, let's check this out. Winter, what are you up to? Come here. Come here. <gasps> Good. She's warming up already. Alright, can you get down? Can you get down? If I touch you, will you leave? Yeah, that's right. Come on, get down. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna push you. Just helping you down. Just helping you down. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Hi. Like my camera? Go on. Go on. It's okay. You can take that. 
All right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift her up. No way I can do that one-handed though, so I'm gonna turn off the camera for a second. Okay, and she's down. Back to eating like she's never eaten before. Go on, you can eat. It's okay. I'm not gonna stop you. Get your fill. I know you weren't getting fed too well at the last place. Yeah, there you go. Look at her floppy ears. That's so cute. What are you guys looking at each other for? Goose? I don't, have we said our, our goat's names? This is Goose. She is, I want to say, about five months old. I could be wrong. Michaela knows. And Elvis, I know he is three months. He's a baby. This is our only boy right now. We're going to get one more soon. We already have our other boy on hold. And that's going to be it for our goats, at least for now, until we start breeding them. Ow, you biting me. I don't got nothing. I don't got nothing. Don't bite. Don't eat. Don't eat me. Okay, so, Goose loves Elvis so much. I need to discuss this with you guys. I don't know if it's normal for one goat to be attached to the other so much like this, because he's, like, indifferent. He doesn't really care. You're gonna bite my finger, kid. He doesn't really care, but anytime we move him away from her, she starts freaking out. We can't pick him up or put him outside of the cage by himself, or else she'll just start screaming. And she will follow us around and him around. Well, she'll follow us around just to get to him, so that she can follow him around. Otherwise, she wants nothing to do with us. She will not come near us unless we have Elvis. This is her man. This is her boy. She's always going to be next to him. Which is pretty cute, honestly. We'll see how uh, Winter fits into that dynamic now that she's here. Okay, now here's a little chore that I never look forward to. We are currently in a little battle with wasps at our front gate of all places. So every time we go to open up the gate, we uh, get in trouble with the wasps. So I'm going to go try to take care of that now. I'm going to do it on camera if I can. We'll see how that works. Alright, so they are always hanging out in this wheel area. Car drove past. Let's try that again. Oh, here comes another one. Good. Okay. Alright, so they are always hanging out in the wheel area of our front gate here. Let's see if I can spot anybody. Where is their nest even? It's got to be somewhere in there. I don't actually know where on our gate it's located. But I'm pretty sure it's on the inside. That's where I'm always seeing them. Oh, there's one right now. Zoom in. See it there? Okay, so it's underneath. I'm going to back up. Test out my spray. Oh man, I'm hitting it. Oh, bad news. This can is empty. I'm not done with you. I'm coming back. Okay, attempt number one failed. But, I have another can. I thought that that one was a bit more full than it really was. So, I'm gonna grab another one. Boom. Let's go. Alright, here I come. Let's go. I see you down there. Okay, coated that part, I think we're good, I'm going to try to shoot it up in there a bit, yeah, splash it real good, oh, I just saw him drop to the floor, die, alright, I'm just going to kind of spray all the little cracks there, look at it, it's still going, it's moving, where do you think you're going little thing? I don't want you to survive. Alright. Job well done, I hope. Alright, good morning everybody. It is the next morning. I've already let the animals out. Um, and so I started doing laundry. Other than that. But I already let the animals out. So they're enjoying the fresh morning. 
and I wanted to just update everybody uh, on winter since it's morning after the pickup and the big clean. So she's out with the goats already. Here, there she is. She doesn't really want me to get near her. Winter, hello. Not wanting to focus. <laughs> but so what I've noticed uh, already is that her poop is really, really runny. Um, I'm going to assume that it is might be from just stress. It could be, you know, from the vitamins that we gave her or the food change. It could be a, a bunch of different things, but um, I've noticed that, so I got to keep an eye on her, make sure she's not getting dehydrated. I mean, she's very clean, but her runny poop is already starting to stain her again, um, which means that she's probably going to need another good brush out, and we'll keep that monitored. But, uh, so far, her behavior's fine. She's still a bit shy, but she's really taken to our goats. So I think that they're really helping her sort of adjust better, even though she's technically the oldest and the biggest out of all of them. She seems to look up to them. So that's good. And I think that once she gets into a routine, she's going to be just fine. Alright guys, I really would like you to go this way, so I see one of those plants. Can you go this way please guys? Go that way. Okay. Good job. So, let me go ahead take the opportunity to zoom in on this flower here. Oh yeah, that's really not going to be my friend today, is it? Anyways, the flower, if you see this kind of flower, this is Santana. It's very, very poisonous for your goats. It must have just brought it out from our neighbor's yard, so we're going to have to quickly pick that before any of our animals get into it. Elvis, come on. Get away. Get away. Go that way. Oh, goosey. I'm just moving him. Um, actually, it's poisonous to all of your animals. So, if you're thinking about getting any type of livestock... Or even with your dogs, just keep an eye out for that. You don't want them to get into it and get very sick and potentially die. Um, so I'm gonna take care of that real quick, but I just wanted to update you guys on winter.